Ray Dalio says all great leaders make mistakes. What sets them apart is how they learn from those mistakes. Dalio wishes they'd all write those lessons down. Principles is his way of sharing the ones he learned while building Bridgewater. So who's on your list of good leaders then? Bill Gates is a great, Elon Musk, um, uh, you know, the, the, there, are sh there are shapers, Jack Dorsey, uh, Reed Hastings, in, those, uh, in some of the business community, mm -hmm. in the philanthropic. Uh, somebody uh, I admire enormously is Mohammed Yunus, um, fine microfinance and has found uh, really the inventor of social enterprise, and he knows how to make essentially uh, businesses um, out of philanthropy, in other words, to make them self-sustaining. Fantastic. Jeffrey Canada, um, Harlem Children's Zone. Mm -hmm. um, in other words, a vision. Uh, these are visionaries who are shapers. Um, you know, they're just, and anyone, those are contemporary, those are, th th those are, uh, it's very difficult in government. Well, you spent a lot of time with Mario Draghi. Would you put him on that list? Oh, I'd put Mario Draghi on that list. I would say Ber Ben Bernanke is a hero, okay? In other words, the person who stood up and at a very difficult time uh, with a sacrifice, personal sacrifice, to do the right things. The political system has its, uh, its, its, its challenges. It sounds to me like the unifying threads among all of these people whom you do admire are, on the one hand, independence, independent thinking and creativity, and on the other hand, the courage to pursue either one or both of those things. I mean, uh, everybody has their role. That's the thing I've also learned, that the, everybody has their own nature and their role, and it takes a team. And so, I I, yes, I like the fact that those people, for the good of whatever, can go from visualizing something, visualization to actualization, to build it out. However, I can tell you that all of those people at all need people who have different natures and different abilities. The big conceptual, big picture thinker needs the person who's paying attention to all the detail. You know, the, the creative person who's not reliable needs the reliable person who's not creative. Have any companies earned your admiration? Other psychologists who've come in and examined it, our, our company say that there are comparisons. Um, I would say that um, Netflix with Reed Hastings uh, has earned my admiration. Um, I, um, Jack Dorsey and uh, Twitter in terms of that radical transparency and one, the idea of meritocracy has earned my admiration. Um, some, so there are some, but I'm not an expert on it.